Tech Star Freedom, honoring our heroes this day as their Veterans Memorial Site in Athens. KTK's Deontay Marini was there and tells us how the area came together to celebrate our soldiers. Deontay. Neil, today East Texan showed their love for our veterans in a big way. Over 100 people showed up to honor those who served and those who've died in the military. I just enjoy being alive. <laughs> 99-year-old James Fling served in the Navy during World War II. I've enjoyed uh, places where there's a gathering of veterans like today. He says he's grateful for the ceremony the Athens Arboretum organized today. <laughs> Students of Athens Christian Preparatory School sang beautiful songs that brought some of the crowd to tears. Speakers included the mayor of Athens, Henderson County of, Judge, of and Scott McKee, who and delivered really a heartfelt today. speech prompting a standing Which ovation a from the crowd. I don't want this to be such a doom and gloom speech. We can turn it around. We can write the ship. And how? It has to start somewhere. How about this? How about the 19 million veterans we have in this country that are alive today? 19 million. U.S. Air Force veteran Dr. Randy Bell explained his experience serving as a dentist in the Vietnam War. Uh, it was different then, as you know. He says technology completely changed the dynamics of war. How did you know what went on in the war back in the 30s and the 40s? He compared communication back then to a drive-in movie. About halftime, uh, they would have a newsreel and tell you things about what's going on in the war. Uh, I can uh, remember them saying, uh, last week, we lost 1,000 of our finest military. Dr. Bell says family back home didn't know if their loved ones were a part of those that died. They'd have to wait and see if they got a letter. Though times were tough, veteran James Fling says if he could go back, he'd do it all over again for his country. It would be good for most uh, people, men and women, to serve a couple years in service. It would help a lot of people to do that, and uh, you wouldn't regret it, I don't think. Yes. No, no, I, I got an email, so I'll, I'll leave. Okay. And I can, assure, I can assure you that everyone walked away today feeling proud to call this country home. In studio, Deontay Mirney, KTK News.